Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of That's All Funny. Um, get this music out of here. Get it out of here. Episode number 604, I guess. I think so. Uh, same, yeah, I just slept all day like a piece of shit. I'm, dude, I missed my doctor's appointment again today. I had, or yeah, I had a doctor's appointment that I rescheduled because I missed it. And then I missed it again. Because I fucking slept and I'm like, God damn it, I'm a piece of shit. And uh, I called my doctor, you know, my the receptionist and they were real understanding. I was like, oh shit, okay, cool, thank you. And scheduled it for tomorrow, like in the afternoon, so I don't fucking miss it. But man, I've just been a piece, lazy piece of shit lately. I haven't fucking done anything, but whatever. Uh, that's life, right? We all have our ups and downs and go-arounds and all that other uh inspirational calendar type shit just want everyone to know you're not alone we all go through it uh some of us longer than others more than others we're 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 here for you and all that other gay shit let's let's take a look at the news here i got some news uh yeah here we go Krispy Kreme teams up with dolly pardon for new donuts See the collection. Let's take a look at this. Krispy Kreme has teamed up with Dolly Parton to give customers a little something sweet to pair with their cup of ambition. Uh, and I, I will always love you. Ooh, oh, 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 yeah. Love you. Ooh, oh, oh, yeah. Ooh, oh, 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 yeah. That's That's her. You may think Wendy Houston sang that song, but that's her that wrote it. And better put respect. Let's take a look at these donuts. Um, the Dolly Dazzler Donut. An original glazed donut dipped in strawberry icing with gold, pink, and white glitter sprinkles and a signature chocolate Dolly butterfly piece. All right. I'm down with that. Sounds good. Peachy Keen Cobbler Donut. An unglazed donut filled with Real peach filling dipped in brown sugar icing and crunchy cobbler topping. Uh, I don't know. I'm not much of a peach person. I could eat a peach for hours. Oh, where's that movie from? Put in the comments if you know where that movie's from. That line from the movie's from. No, that's from um, uh, Face Off. Yeah, Stinkless Cage. Um, I don't know. Banana pudding pie. An unglazed donut filled with banana pudding made with wafers and banana pudding cream dipped in yellow icing with white icing swirls and a wafer cookie. That sounds good. I fucking love banana pudding uh, with vanilla wafers. I know uh, when Sonic had a shake that was like the banana pudding vanilla wafers. God, uh, dude, I'd love that shit. It was so good. Like, I... I kind of want to like go and see if they still sell something like that or even buy shit. Maybe when I go to the Dollar General, I'll buy some fucking vanilla wafers just to have because they're fucking good. Vanilla wafers are fucking good. I wonder if they have a cereal. They should have a cereal, right? A vanilla wafer cereal. That sounds fucking good too. I had bought um, the other day some cinnamon toast crunch, but like French toast crunch or something. And it was like too sweet, like where it was hurting my teeth. And that takes a lot for me, you know, but let's take a look at the last donut here. Chocolate cream pie, an original glazed donut topped with a swirl of chocolate brown cream, chocolate brownie cream and vanilla whipped topping sprinkled with chocolate cookie crumble. Um, so, yeah, I think all four of these, I think the weakest of all of them is the peachy king cobbler. Uh, all the other ones sound fucking delicious. Uh, and. I feel like they should be in the shape of big old titties because that's what, you know, Dolly Parton's kind of known for is her big ass fucking rack. And then, you know, her saying, you know, her, her hair. Oh, look, there's a picture of the donuts here. Um, Yeah. So there's a little butterfly in one of them. Looks pretty cool. The chocolate swirl one looks cool. Um. The way vanilla wafer one looks cool. Again, the peachy cobbler one. I'm not into the color. I don't know, but I'm sure it's good. They all look fucking good. This picture here, Dolly Parton looks fucking good. I wouldn't mind 
wouldn't mind icing her donuts if you know what I'm saying. I don't know. Um, but yeah, any customer. Whoa, what's this? To celebrate the introduction of the collection, any customer who dresses up like Pardon will receive a free original glazed donut on the day. <laughs> the offer is available for anyone dollied up. From being totally Dolly decked out to wearing a Dolly Parton wig or their favorite Dolly merch. That's interesting. You just put put a bunch of uh, fucking watermelons in your bra or your shirt and bam, you look like her. Or a big wig because you yeah, have her hair. The higher the hair, the closer to God or whatever she says. I love that line. But yeah, check out Dolly Parton's donuts. She really needs the help there. <laughs> I guess I don't know. Um, moving on from you know donuts to politics, controversy follows Governor Christy Nome as she is banned by two more South Dakota tribes. And um, if you remember, we talked about Governor Christy Nome. She's the one that wrote about killing a dog in her book, which um, I get like the context of why she wrote it, but it's like why <laughs> you know like i get how you thought this would again we, we thought this would make you look better like making the harder decisions blah blah blah. but it really didn't that just kind of backfired but uh south dakota governor christina is now banned from entering nearly 20 percent of her state after two more tribes banished her this week over comments she made earlier this year about tribal leaders benefiting from drug cartels uh so yeah i guess she said that uh we got some tribal tribal leaders that i believe are personally benefiting from the cartels being there <clears throat> that's why they attack me every day she said at the forum but i'm going to fight for the people who actually live in those situations who call me and text me every day and say please dear governor please come help us in pine ridge we are scared so um that's that's pretty funny <laughs> that uh, the tribal leaders are banning her because she's saying that they benefit from the cartels. Um, I'll, I'll have to get her book and read it. Like it's it's very it's crazy how these politicians. And not just because she's a woman, right? Like men are just as fucking ridiculous too in political things. But how they think like they could just kind of do shit because they're in a position of power. And no one will look at them weird or someone will agree with them, you know? It's pretty ridiculous, especially when she surrounds herself around a bunch of people that are yes men or yes women, where they just want to agree with her. Like, oh, no, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. But, like, she says this and then the public's like, that was a terrible thing to say. And everyone's like, oh, no, no, we, we think you, you did great. And it's like, no, you didn't do great because look at the fucking public, how much they hate you, you know? But she's kind of hot, so I'll let her slide with it. But, yeah, I'll definitely have to check out her book when it does come out. I'll have to write that down. Christy Nome. Governor Christy Nome. No, no him. No him. No him. Animal Lecter. Um... Other news here, Mississippi enacts transgender bathroom ban in public schools. This is still going on, this whole, like, bathroom ordeal. Mississippi Governor Tate Reeves signed a bill in a law Monday that would bar transgender people from using bathrooms that correspond with their gender identities in the state's public schools. He calls it the legislation titled The Securing Areas for Females Effectively and responsibility responsibly act or the safer act get it because the securing areas for females effectively and responsibly act that that that's an acronym for safer uh mandates that the state schools have a single sex that, that the state schools have single sex restrooms changing bathrooms and dormitories it's sex to find someone's sex is determined solely by birth that regards the fluidity of how someone acts or feels. Um, it is in, this takes effect immediately. It is intended to keep Mississippi's daughters safe. Uh, <laughs> I mean, cool angle, bro. Like, uh, I hope it works out for you. I really do. Um, 
but in a state like Mississippi, I could see it like working out because they're they're pretty red. Um, I'm thinking of Kentucky with the fried chicken. God, I'm hungry now, but I don't know. I I feel like yeah, you just gotta teach. You know, like like I know when my niece when the the shit was going down with the transgender bathroom stuff, I would like accompany my niece to the restroom, be outside the door. And tell her like, hey, if anything goes down, let me know. Like, let out a scream or something. I'll take care of it, you know. But I don't know. You just have to like watch your children better, and then train them to be ready for this. Because like, it doesn't like just because you put that a man isn't allowed to enter a restroom, a female's restroom, right? Because of their gender identity, doesn't mean a man's not going to enter it, right? Regardless of what, however he identifies, like. There's no magical force field that'll stop someone from entering a restroom just because of their fucking, uh, fucking, uh, what is it? Their, their, uh, biology, you know, their genitals. There you go. So, yeah, there's, there's nothing like that. So, good luck with that, but we'll see. Uh, I'm, I'm a Mississippi fan because I can spell it in my SSI, SSI PPI. I can spell it. There's the the you see that they have pee pee in their name, but they don't like the pee pee in the bathroom. That's pretty funny, huh? <laughs> High five. Lastly, here on the news, anti obesity uh, anti obesity jab quote cuts risk of heart attack or stroke regardless of weight loss. So um, I don't know why they're calling it the jab. This must be like a right leaning article. Who wrote this? The independent, I don't know, but they're I don't know why they're calling it the jab. Um, anti obesity jabs could reduce the risk of heart attack, strokes, or heart failure in obese people, regardless of the amount of weight they lose while on the drug, according to a study. Uh, the five year study explored if the drug sold under the brand names Wagavi, Ozempic, and Rivalsus could reduce the risk of heart attacks or stroke in obese people without diabetes. Um, so yeah, it's pretty interesting that it could reduce, even if you don't lose weight from it, which that, that's pretty rowdy. If you're taking a drug that literally like is supposed to help you lose weight and you don't lose any weight, like you must be e really eating a lot, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, but that's cool that it's side effects are cutting the risk of heart attack or stroke. That's pretty, uh. That's a nice little side effect there, you know. It's not like the other jab that, you know, puts a big old piece of fucking uh fucking washcloth in your veins and gets sucked into your heart like a like a butt wipe. Uh, Stevo's uh butt wipes for your b hole. <laughs> I'm Stevo, yeah. And then you say uh oh, <laughs> when I get my <laughs> <laughs> Put my ex on the podcast and spice things up. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I could get my ex on the podcast, spice things up. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. What do y'all think of? Uh, I think Krispy Kreme. That's the best uh, best thing they got going there. The Krispy Kreme uh, compilation, uh, whatever crossover. I'm all for it. I would. Um, I would. I would. She. She. They should. Uh, have milk with it too, like Dolly Parton breast milk to go with the donuts. Like, why wouldn't you? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, that that just sounds like it would sell itself very easily. You know, or even her hair. I would eat her hair if it was in the donuts too. Uh, Dolly Parton's just hot. I don't care how old she is. She's like sixty, probably almost seventy. So yeah, I, I'm I'm down with that and. uh if, if you're not done with that, I got three words for you. Uh, that's all funny. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the podcast. That's all funny. Available in your podcast. That's all funny. My buddy Gabe called That's All K Favorite. That's all that's all K Favorite. That's all K Favorite. Podcast available. The versions of this podcast, that podcast, or all this stuff I do, check out the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash at Lorenzo Ariola. Uh, I got videos there, 
random stuff I do, the podcast, other stuff. And I do a live show with a wonderful mint salad called Tits and Areolas, where we talk about movie, uh, movie we watch, play a little game. She's beautiful. I'm a lazy piece of shit. It's a great game. She's autistic, too, if you're into that. Um, some people are into that. Uh, I'm not, but it's still pretty cool. Um, so you check that out. That's on Tuesday, live at 8 o'clock Central, 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern. Check that out. Um, I'm at Lorenzo Ariola on Twitter and Instagram. Um, uh, check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash Lorenzo Ariola. $5 a month can see everything. If you want to push some art from a great artist that does all the art for the show, check out at Retro Horror Inc. on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, one of a kind graphic art, Bret Hart graphic art. Check that out. Thank you, my Patreon subscribers. Uh, like and subscribe, share. Uh, thank you for listening. Take care.